Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the vowels. There are five vowels and we're going to listen to the short vowel sound today. This is the uppercase A. The uppercase A is scared of this spider right here. So when he sees a spider, like what I do when I see a spider, is we're going to say, ah. We're not gonna go crazy and say, ah. But just as simple and short, ah. The short A gets scared of the spider and says, ah. This is the lowercase a. It looks a lot different, but we are going to see this A a lot more. This is the A that we will see when we're sounding out words. This is the A that we will write when we are spelling out words. This A says, ah, is the exact same sound as the uppercase A. It just looks different, but he's scared of the spider too. The next letter is the letter E. This is the uppercase E. And you'll notice here that I have a ear on him. And the reason is because we're gonna touch our ear and we're going to say, eh, eh. The E is super hard to say and hear. And so this E is going to help us think about how that sound is. Sometimes we like to think about our grandpa or our grandma. This is our grandpa E because sometimes grandpas are like, eh, eh, I can't hear you. And so you can also think of it that way. But the E is one of the hardest ones to hear and know. So I put our little E, our little ear here to help us. The lowercase E looks a lot different, but our lowercase E is still a grandpa and still has his ear to help us hear. So the letter E, put our hand here and say, eh, eh. This is the uppercase I. It's also a word. So if you can learn this letter, then you already know a word, which is pretty exciting. The letter I does not feel good right now. The letter I threw up. And so the letter I is going to go like this. Eh. We're gonna pretend something gross is on the ground and say eh, 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 because we don't wanna go near it, it's so gross. So poor little letter I does not feel very well today. The lowercase i looks a lot different, but this is the i that we will see in all of our words and we will write down when we spell it. But the lowercase i is still gonna make the same sound. So the lowercase a i is still sick and the lowercase i is gonna say eh, eh. So I want you to lift your shoulder up and get the hand up there and be like eh. The letter i says eh. This is the letter O. The letter O loves to sing. Do you know another letter that loves to sing? Mm -hmm. But this one sings a little bit different. She is our opera singer. So she's got this note, she's got her beautiful necklace and it kind of reminds me of putting her hands like this. And so we'll just put our hands like this and we're going to sing, oh. Okay, so go ahead and put your hands like this and we're gonna lift that sound up, make a nice big O with our mouth and say, Ah, the letter O says, ah, yay, the lowercase O looks exactly the same. So we only really have one letter to learn on this one. I love when that happens. The lower, lowercase O is still going to sing and she is going to say the same sound. She's going to sing, ah, nice, good, open mouth on that. The last vowel today is the letter U. And this is one of the hardest ones to remember. And so when we see the letter U, we're actually going to go like this. And the sound that's gonna come out is uh. And guess what? That's the sound the letter U makes. So we're gonna say uh. If you want to, you could even scratch your head and think about this question mark being up here and say uh, that works as well. The lowercase u looks exactly the same. Sometimes you'll see an uppercase u without this part though. Our picture just doesn't have the other u. So, but you'll notice that the u's look a lot alike and they are both kind of like a smiley face, but the question mark is the big thing. When we see the u, we're gonna say, uh, uh, and then we got it. Thank you for practicing the vowels with me today. Bye.